Today's story is called Mr. Gronkle's Busy Day. It's written and illustrated by a very famous author named Richard Scarry. Oh my, and if you look at this illustration, looks like Mr. Gronkle is going to be hit on the head by a soccer ball. The sun has been up for hours, but it is still quiet at Mr. Gronkle's house. Mr. Gronkle likes to sleep late. <laughs> thump, 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 thump. Strange sounds from upstairs awake Mr. Grunkle. Thump, thump, thump. I can't get any sleep, grumbles Mr. Grunkle. Mr. Grunkle gets out of bed and goes up to his visiting nephew's room. What are you doing, Vanderbilt? Mr. Grunkle demands. Why don't you go play outside? I'm trying to sleep late. Mr. Grunkle goes back to bed. Thwack, thwack, thwack. Mr. Gronkle gets out of bed. He goes over to the window. Thwack, thwack, thwack. <sighs> Can't you find a quiet game to play, Vanderbilt? Mr. Gronkle shouts. Come inside, have your brunch. I wonder what Vanderbilt is thinking. How about a game of chess, Uncle Gronkle? Vanderbilt suggests. That doesn't make any noise. No, replies Mr. Grunkle. I'm busy reading my newspaper. Mr. Grunkle gets dressed. Come along, Vanderbilt, Mr. Grunkle says. We're going outside. To fly this kite? Vanderbilt asks. No, replies Mr. Grunkle. It will probably land somewhere and I'll have to go fetch it. We're going for a drive. Mr. Gronkle and Vanderbilt drive out the gate. Are we going to get some ice cream? Asks Vanderbilt. No, replies Mr. Gronkle. I don't like ice cream. I like peace and quiet. Ba-boom, 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 ba-boom. Is that you again, Vanderbilt? Mr. Gronkle asks. But Vanderbilt is quiet. Oh, no, Mr. Gronkle has a flat tire. What a fine day this is, Mr. Grunkle grumbles. Come along, Vanderbilt. We have to call for help. Mr. Grunkle calls for help at a roadside telephone. Mr. Fixit answers Mr. Grunkle's call. No trouble at all, says Mr. Fixit. I'll be right over. Mr. Grunkle and Vanderbilt sit on a bench to wait for Mr. Fixit. What a nuisance! growls Mr. Grunkle. If I didn't have to take you out for a drive, this never would have happened. I'm really wondering what Vanderbilt is thinking now. What do you mean, Uncle Grunkle? Vanderbilt says. You haven't done anything for me. You wouldn't let me play basketball in my room. You wouldn't let me play tennis outside. You wouldn't play chess with me, and we couldn't fly the kite. Look out, Mr. Grunkle. Bonk. Huckle runs up to retrieve his soccer ball. I'm sorry, Mr. Grunkle, Huckle says. It was an accident. Instead of sitting here, wouldn't you and Vanderbilt like to play soccer with us? We could use some more players. But I haven't played soccer since I was in school, says Mr. Grunkle. Please, please, Uncle Grunkle, says Vanderbilt. It will be fun. Do you think Uncle Grunkle will play soccer? Let's turn the page and find out. For someone who hasn't played in years, Mr. Grunkle is a pretty good shot. Mr. Grunkle scores a goal. Yay! Mr. Grunkle can kick the ball backwards. Mr. Grunkle can kick the ball sideways. Mr. Grunkle scores another goal with a header. And for the first time all day, Mr. Gronkle is smiling. Your car is ready, says Mr. Fixit, walking up. Why, thank you, Mr. Fixit, says Mr. Gronkle. Won't you join us for a little soccer? You'd be surprised how much fun it can be to play. Here are some of the other stories in the Busy Day Storybooks by Richard Scarry. I hope you check some of them out.
And I hope you enjoyed this story.